I burnt my dinner. Oh, no. You'll see. <laughs> okay, so we're out camping again. Uh-huh. And there's no glamping going on. <laughs> We've been driving and camping, being out in the wild, so there's no glamour going on. Not with me, you know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start a new series. It's called Back to Basics. And it's going to be a 10-part series. We're going to get back to the basics of just being a nomad and traveling and living in a vehicle. Right. Living in your rig. Well, we're going to start with cooking. Cooking, coffee, all the ways that is a nomad that you can eat your food and make your food and your coffee. Coffee is very important. Critically important. Criti it's a critical <laughs> thing. Um, so I'm going to leave all the links that I can of most of the things we talk about. The links will be in the video description and I'll leave them in the comments. I'll pin it in there. So let's get started with coffee. Coffee. We did a poll on Minnie Van Lee's, this, um, Nomad Life, this Nomad Life, I almost forgot it myself. <laughs> it's on Facebook. If you're not part of it, get on Facebook and uh, join it. Well, we did a poll on coffee. What was your favorite? Oh, it wasn't a poll, right? But it was about, we asked everybody, what was your favorite a way to make your coffee? Even if you're in a home, what's your favorite way? So all of y'all that actually sent us a photo, we're going to do shout outs for you. And the first shout out is to Elizabeth, I think it's Cohen, C-O-E-N. And Elizabeth likes her coffee. She likes to use when it, it to me it's almost like a a probe thing you put this metal probe in water and it heats up water but it's called an instant water heater and that's how she makes her coffee and then she pours uh, i think it's um i think she pours instant um a coffee into it and that's how elizabeth makes her next coffee. we have debbie debbie latinen yes hope i pronounced that correctly Coffee is her love language. Oh, I Isn't like that. that super? I like it. Yeah. I love my coffee, too. No I doubt know, about it. Yeah. And Debbie uses the drip method, coffee maker. I assume she's living in a sticks and bricks. But maybe not. I well, mean, because some, be some of them, uh, some people have larger um, power stations. So okay. they can use electricity. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, next we have... Mike Burkhart, yes. And now nine, he says 99% of the time he uses a Keurig. Is it Keurig? Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. I know, I know. I've never used it before. But he does like to use the camping percolator. And his basic advice is don't overcook. Okay. Thank you, Mike. And next we have... We have another Debbie. Yes. Uh, it, Lee, is that Debbie... Walton, like the Walton. Watson. I know. And she loves a toddy cold brew. Yeah. And I think she uses a special maker for that. Well, it is called the toddy cold brew maker. Okay. That's the brand, toddy. All right. <laughs> there you go. I've they... really never done much cold coffee, yeah. if any, to tell you the truth. I know. Well... But that's her favorite. Yes. Now we have, I like this name... Char Moneymaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, she also uses a Keurig method, and she obviously likes blue. She mentioned that she actually bought a blue one. So yeah, that's, yeah. But I appreciate you sending a picture of it. Because, right. you know, a picture is worth a thousand words, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Right. And then lastly, we have... Darlene Fitzgerald. That's what I And say. Darlene uses a jet boil... Uh, ultra light uh, while backpacking. Uh, it's like a backpacking stove, yeah. but you don't have to use it backpacking. You right. can use it anytime you want, and I, I think know. perhaps Darlene does. Yes, and it's ultra light. It's start. Oh, stash. Jet boil stash. Ultra light. Thank you guys for sending in your photos and just doing a shout out. We love you guys so much. Yeah, thank you for participating. Yes. That's very much appreciated. Now, Paul. Yes. He 
actually made coffee for us his way and he did a video for I it. I think we should we should we uh Let's share. offer them uh, some of our friends some yes, of this? Yeah. There you go. I, there's yours. <laughs> and Lee and I are going to share this one. Oh, I know. I'm thirsty actually. Yeah. Coffee. But as you'll see in the mm. uh, accompanying oh, wow. video, it's hot. Yes. Okay. Yes, they're Careful. viewing. They're viewing it right yeah. now. Uh, I use the pour over method, as does Lee, and yeah. it's very simple. Uh, I it takes five minutes. I would say I, I didn't actually time it, yeah. but it's very simple. Uh, I usually use two heaping spoons of uh, Folgers coffee. And that's for this, is this how many, 28 ounces maybe or something like that? Maybe? I don't think it's 28, okay, maybe closer 24? to 20. Or oh, 24. okay, yeah. And I always have uh, some room left over to add a little bit of cold water to it. Okay. To, so, that, so that I don't burn my lips like you probably just did. But, okay. Um, but anyway, so two scoops of uh, two scoops. regular coffee and... Uh, what I use for the hot water is the, uh, what is it called, Lee? The, the Okay. It's a it's, travel. No, let me say the whole name. It's a small electric tea kettle, travel portable mini coffee kettle. That's uh, what it said on Amazon. That is a mouthful. Can isn't you it? possibly be more descriptive? It's called a portable kettle. <laughs> I <laughs> but like that. The actual official name was small electric tea kettle coffee travel portable mini coffee kettle. Wow. What a wow. handle. What a handle. And it do you like using it? You know, I used to use a uh, uh, propane or not propane, butane stove. Mm -hmm. But if I did that, I would have to get out a, a, a pan of some sort. Yeah. Get out the stove, of course, first of all. Get the propane, insert it into the stove, put the pan on, fill the pan with water, and maybe in six, seven minutes, I'd have hot water, and then I could pour it over my cup, uh, as you'll see. Um, it's so much easier to use this travel kettle. I mean, right. it, it's, it's, it's amazing, and I love it. I it, think it's, what, 300? Because I have one, too. It's 300 watts, isn't it? I think it is. So I can use my Jackery, and you can use your Bluetti. But we also have the Oakmos. You have the 2,000. I have the 1,000. Right. And when you were making yours, what everybody else is seeing is I have my 1,000 out. Because mm -hmm. as you're going to see pretty soon, we also cooked earlier. Right. Yeah. Right. And we got the um, rice cooker and things like that yeah. out. Yeah. But it's so so easy, easy cleanup. You know, I, all I have to do is pour that hot water over the grounds inside my coffee cup uh, into my uh, strainer, I'll call it, and uh, slowly, slowly, as slowly as I can pour it, it drains down, and I've got a cup of coffee ready to go. So yeah. overall, I'd say maybe six minutes total i've yeah. got a steaming hot cup of coffee so right. i really love it yeah and uh you know when i would lived in the sticks and bricks my favorite was i had a nice uh percolator i did i think it was a preston okay. a, a percolator especially when i had all when i had guests over i'd make a nice pot oh it made the house smell so good they do and, make oh, a great cup of coffee gosh. don't they would love to have that yeah, yeah. so well um this is our coffee section and session and we're going to go on to different ways that people can make food cook food different stoves now as far as the cooking stoves that uh the pole that lee uh came up with it was amazing that the butane uh stove is the single burner stove is by far the most popular it received yeah. 53 votes overall yeah and uh actually that's what we used in the cooking that we did uh, here this afternoon and i must uh, admit that i did a little <laughs> uh, chopping and and slicing yes. and dicing and yes. and cooking yes uh, and with, did a good with job. the help of my able instructor here right. uh but well i asked him i don't want to be bossy with the, with the cooking but um you know, I asked him, have you done a lot of cooking? He said, not really. Nobody no. really took, you know, or maybe you weren't 
receptive to wanting to learn how to do it. So I'm kind of showing him how to chop certain vegetables yeah, up, and yeah. he he kind of cooked almost the whole meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I it know. tasted pretty doggone good. Yeah, as if you'll I don't see, say so myself. As you'll see, yeah. yeah. So people love the butane, don't they? They do. They yeah. do. And it, and they're great. I certainly love them myself. Uh, well, it's easy. Yeah. And I'm finding what I here's what I do with the butane. When I find butane, if I kind of if I am less than twelve, I get a little nervous. I'd like to have fourteen or fifteen um, butanes because there could be a time where there's none, and you could be out and. You don't have access to a store. And a lot of times Walmarts are out. So I try to keep about 15 yeah. of them, believe the first, it or not. Yeah. The first time Lee told me that, I said, well, how many canisters do you have? She said, oh, I don't know, 13, 14, 15. I, are you kidding me? <laughs> but, but now no. that we've seen Walmarts, at least, yeah. they are out more than they have it in stock. Yeah. So that's not a bad idea. So yeah. I began stocking up myself, yeah. and I think I probably have 14 canisters. Yeah, so ready between to the go. two of us. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to go with the heater, the, that portable uh, small tea kettle, mini coffee kettle, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's one of the reasons uh, we got that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we love the butane, and we'll, we'll continue on with um, the video of cooking of the rest of the meal in just a minute but we're going to move on with all the other ones and the next one is an instapot so i can show you that we made rice with our i said on the poll on the facebook group i did a poll and i said how many of you use like these things and they got to check all the ones that they enjoyed using mm -hmm. and i said instapot devices and that included a rice cooker so, yeah, I love the rice cooker because if you run out of butane, we've got solar, we can plug it into our Oakmo. And yeah. I think, I think the rice cooker wasn't at about 300, maybe that was 300 watts too. That might be. Yeah. yeah. And we used that, uh, Lee used that this afternoon in yeah. uh, creating the meal that we had. Right. And boy, that rice just comes out perfectly. Yeah, I know. I wanted to use some of the, um, those uh crushed pepper flakes red pepper flakes <laughs> it was really good that spice things up quite I a bit i know i know well that one got four percent now for the next one we have the the old standby i'll call it the coleman double burner camp stove you know the dark green uh well you'll see a photo of it right. but uh, the dark green color and uh, the the top that comes up and the side panels yes. that uh, help to block the wind. Uh, I had one of those for a you while did. until Lee turned me on to the uh, uh, butane uh, single burner. Um, but it's very, very popular. But it got 18%. Yeah. So a lot yeah. of you are using them. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Well, what's the next one, Lee? Well, this is up your alley. Why don't you tell? Well, a charcoal grill. Yeah. I have, I'm not sure, it's a Weber, mm -hmm. but it's, it's. I think it's called a Smoky Joe, but at least yeah. it's a small, uh, a smaller version of the upright Weber charcoal kettle grill. You know, the rounded kettle grill. You'll see a photo, but uh, I have that. And of course, I didn't want to carry the thing with the long, long legs, uh, being a nomad. So this one uh, works very, very well. It does the same kind of job. I have cooked uh, not a lot because I don't do a lot of cooking. But I did do a, uh, what was it? A pork roast. Pork loin. Pork loin. Pork loin, yep. yeah. And that came out very good. Yeah. I really enjoy that. And we, we did steaks. One yes, night, we did. Number of months ago. Mm -hmm. um, and hamburgers, too. We've done hamburgers on it. Yeah. But we yeah. don't use it a lot. I think um, the concern is it gets messy, and then he's got to pack it back in his van. And, yeah, so it can get kind of messy. But, hey, 12% of you love to use the grills. Yeah. Yeah. And some of you put the, um, you mentioned the hibachi. 
you use a hibachi grill and they included in yeah. that yeah the next one got only two percent and i saw this and the reason i wanted to mention this because i actually thought of getting one of these some come with legs and some don't but it's a coleman propane grill combo i think you can take the grill but then you can turn it over and it's just a flat, um, like for pancakes, like. Like a griddle? Like a griddle. But then you can, on one side, is it's an actual burner. And then the other side, so you've got the, I thought that would be kind of cool. That is. And it was 2%, and so. I think those, liked it. those are used uh, by tailgaters at football games in the fall quite a right. bit. Right, but if they have the legs on them. And right. they look nice to me. They probably it'd be nice if they had retractable legs, you know. Um, but they also have them without okay. legs at all that you can just put on a picnic table. Cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see. What else do we have here? Little lonely. The lonely solar <laughs> oven. Got zero. zero. You know, I I bet the. I've never used one, but I bet the problem with a solar oven is the time that it takes, don't you think? Not many, not many people, uh, well, actually, no, no one says anything about that. Right. That they were using a solar oven. But in our, our fast paced society, you know, I think yeah. it's just, don't you have, it, doesn't it take sometimes three to four hours or longer? I don't, I don't know. No. Um, um I've played around with solar. I had a cook it. I, uh, if any of you know it, leave a message. I'm not even going to go into too much explaining, but you can make them out of cardboard. It's cook it. And it was a thing for, um, to help women in Africa because they're having a hard time finding any, um, burning substances like wood. They don't have wood available. Hmm. So they, uh, made these. If you want to look it up, it's called cook dash it, cook it. And, um, I made one and I would, you know, use it just because it was fun to do, but they do have, and then the, what I'm showing is that one solar, that's the newest solar thing. The it's one that a, has the, the tube right. kind it's of thing? It's a tube thing, yeah. Okay. But nobody in our group actually used them, and I didn't use it either, so. No, nor did and, I. Yeah. Now, the next one is a Coleman Camp Oven. Now, I've thought about getting this one, too. You sit it on your stove. You sit it on the stove until it's in. It's not expensive. It's like forty nine dollars. Now, Lee, could, yeah. could you make uh, bacon apple pie? With <laughs> I know, maybe I could. <laughs> I know, but two percent of you said that um, that's something that either you use or you are interested in using. Yeah. Next, we have the trucker oven. It, this is a twelve volt. Uh, it, it looks like an old fashioned black metal. Uh, lunchbox yeah. these are made of plastic but they have a uh, uh plug in to your cigarette lighter outlet yeah. and i've used those i used uh, one for a little while but i only used it really for reheating things like leftover pizza and so forth it worked great uh and and the only difference is it heats up to a certain temperature and i forget i want to say it was 275 degrees or something mm -hmm. and therefore you have to kind of time based on what you think the item you're trying to make yeah. or warm up uh would take at 275 degrees mm -hmm. but it worked fine for me yeah. uh i didn't do anything fancy in it but yeah. uh, did a couple of different things and uh heated them up uh, quite nicely yeah well, the next one got 3%, and that's the Hot Logic 12 volt. And it's really the same principle, but a lot of you like the Hot Logic better yeah. because it's more collapsible. It, it takes up less space and it works just as well. And a lot of you had mentioned that you use it to like heat up, um, frozen dinners in them. It's like, okay. you know, lean cuisine or, yeah, healthy choice, things like right, that. Right, right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now we did mention the hibachi grill. Somebody put that down, but we we just included that with the grill. And then what was the last one? That was a built-in propane stove that would be mm -hmm. used in an RV. Right. That's. You know? that, I'm sure that's what they meant. Yeah. I have an RV, and mine is a built-in 
propane stove. So they why use not propane. use it? Yeah. Well, yeah, why not put it in there? I didn't even think to put it in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because I let on the pole, I allowed for write-ins because I wanted to see. I might not have thought of everything. Sure. But yeah. these are ways to cook. And um, these are the most, obviously, in our group, these are the most popular ways. If you have another way, another device that you use to cook, Go ahead and uh, leave it in the comments. We want to know about it. And thank yeah. you all for participating. Yeah. In Everyone this. is interesting in ways I to know cook. It. That's for sure. And there's so many. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, Do you mean the item to cook? Well, to eat when you're eat or cook, uh, when you're uh, a nomad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What is, well, one thing that we didn't put on there. What's that over there? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? A microwave! You have a microwave. Oh, oh, oh. I did not include a microwave. He loves to use a microwave. Oh, and you know what else I forgot? What? My French press. Oh, for coffee. For yes. coffee. Yes. Yeah, going way back. Yes. Yeah. A lot of you did say you didn't send a picture, but you did say that you love your French press. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For coffee. So we're going backwards there. But uh, yeah, I mean, what you so sometimes I wonder if your favorite thing to eat, well, you love cheese and crackers and you like, you like snack kind of foods. I do. Yeah. I like finger food. Yeah, me too. But you like to make those burritos. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do. And then he can pre-make them and put them in his ice chest. And then all he has to do is bring it out. He wraps it in, um, well, he wraps it in tortilla, but right. then he wraps it in um, a paper towel. Paper towel. So you can take it out, and that way you can just set it in the microwave. For about a minute, yeah. and I've got supper. Yeah, you use refried beans, mm -hmm. green chilies, chopped green chilies, yep. cheese, black olives, um and then when i'm finished i i don't put it inside but i do add sour cream and yeah and dip it in salsa and, and uh perhaps some uh oh the red stuff what am i trying to think of here red or green stuff salsa salsa like on seinfeld Absolutely. everybody's salsa everybody just <laughs> likes to say salsa oh. <laughs> it's, it's overtaking ketchup because we love to say salsa oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Did um, you hear what just went by, Lee? A helicopter moth? Moth, yeah. Oh. I could just see it off to the, the, the side there. Yeah, yeah, a little rascal. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Well, and then what we're going to mention is another way that you can eat as a nomad. And that's going to a restaurant <laughs> where you can order salsa <laughs> and ranch dressing. We we got it down like can I have some ranch dressing on the side? No, no. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? What is my favorite? Yeah. We go to IHOP quite a bit because we get the points and <laughs> we get free well, food. And quite honestly, I do yeah. like Denny's. Yeah. But. One, there are two Denny's in the place we're staying, the area we're staying. We were staying. One, yeah, right. Yeah. One is on the far side of town, and the other one we found to always be filthy. Sorry, Denny's. They but both were. Get the east side Denny's cleaned up, for crying out loud. Oh, the west side was filthy, too. Was it? Okay. And then, wasn't that the one that had the hole? That did, right in the middle of the... <laughs> uh, yeah, of the, of the of the uh, booth, there's a big hole. I mean, like, like somebody like cut out the hole, a hole in the in the. Anyways, no, yeah. we don't do dandies anymore yeah. because actually IHOP has the uh, those point that point system. Yeah, that works out really well. I know you get uh, what they call pan uh, bucks pan pancake bucks or something, something like, that. like that. I know. So the and we get enough points that we we can get a free burger. And or whatever you want. Or, order. yeah, or a bowl or something. And I found IHOP, at least where we're at, to be... Oh, you could almost eat off the floor. It's so clean. Yeah, very nice. Denny's has kind of gone downhill, I think. I don't know, maybe not in every part of the country, but, yeah. So we like that. But we tried different things. Um, we tried different restaurants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He loves his omelets. 
I certainly do. Yeah. And if you go to, if you go to Walmart and you buy eggs, they're kind of expensive anyways, but you know, the ice, we, you know, sometimes it's a little iffy and you got to eat, get like a dozen, you got to eat them up right away. This way he can just go and uh, have his omelet made the way he wants it. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance on a bad egg, that's yeah, for sure. I did get a bad egg. I tell them about it. It was a horror story. Um, I did eat bad eggs, and you know, I was so sick. I uh, Yeah. I didn't test them out. I think if they float, they're bad. But if they sink, they're good. If you put them in water, an egg in water. I don't trust it. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so let's get some more footage of our meal. We did the black bean burger. I mentioned that, that we bought that. And we haven't only made this a couple burgers. So we wanted to make sure that we got it and, out and used it. And I have to be honest here, folks. When we first decided to get those as a uh, prep, in case something happens yeah. terribly or whatever. So it's something that uh, dry meal or whatever, black beans and what have you, it lasts a long time. And when I, I thought I would never like something like that. I want a hamburger. I want meat, you know. But those black bean burgers are very delicious. Yeah. I don't know what all is in there, but uh, I really like them. We've had it twice now. And we made them uh, today or made a very large one. And then we yeah. split it. Yeah. And it was delicious. Yeah. And the rice was really good. Uh -huh. Now, he fried up the onions and the garlic. And then um, we went to the food, or I did, went to the food bank uh, Friday. And they gave us a red pepper. So we wanted to use that. They get some good veggies. Yeah. And so we used it. They didn't give us a pie this time. What they gave us was cookies. Unfortunately. Oh, my gosh. These cookies are oh. Those, he can't stay. I can. Yeah, he can't stay away from. Them. She made me carry them in my van. <laughs> I know because I didn't want to. And I've so far had <laughs> five, perhaps, of them. Yeah. What? What's the? What's the latest we picked up? Because he does like his candy. I picked this up. I love my blueberries. Blueberries, chocolate. Oh, these are so good. Chocolate yeah. covered blueberries. And then I put them in the baggie, but these are the bomb. These are the bomb, I tell ya. They're dove, dark chocolate, dove, mint. Oh, oh, Delicious. Yeah, good, I now, I was going to mention, I'm wondering, because we got some regular chocolate, too. Then remember we mentioned you could almost maybe plop one of those in hot coffee and let it melt? I bet. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but the mint. Mint coffee? Is there such a thing as mint I coffee? I think I would enjoy that. Oh. Yeah. I'll leave these beside me because when we're done, I think I might have to. <laughs> but it was a really good meal. The um, the rice was really good. We have we have enough food for tomorrow, I think, and the next day. We have a lot of food. Yeah, we didn't eat all that burger. Good leftovers. Yeah. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any other suggestions, please leave comments. We just love you guys so much. And go ahead and uh if you want if you haven't yet um on amazon order the book how to live in a minivan the minivan leeway and some of this back to basic stuff will be in there too but yeah. why do we want to do this back to basic series paul well for one thing we have to remember that not everyone has been watching lee's videos yeah. for the last two and a half years yeah. or so and we have to remember that some people are not nomads and they're right. they're uh, uh, wanting to learn. They, they if, yeah. if I've heard it once, I've heard it a dozen or yeah. more times that they're living vicariously through right. our adventures here. Right. And so we thought it was time to maybe go over some of the basics, you know, that we yeah. don't think about. It doesn't have to be real uh, technical or difficult, right. but just to share with people that... Uh, this is the way it is. This yeah. is basic stuff, folks, and it's uh, nothing magical. But I yeah. think people, I hope, enjoy seeing that. Right. And I want to do a shout out to Courtney. Last week when we came to the um, the Grand Canyon and we came through, I I showed her my ID and I showed her my pass and my and then, and I mentioned. I said, "Well, can we go?" She goes, 
you, have I met you before? And I looked, I said, well, you look kind of familiar too. And then I said, well, I'm a YouTuber. And she goes, oh my gosh, it's Minnie <laughs> Van Lee. She goes, I work. I said, well, do you just work here part time that you got this job, but you live in? She goes, no, she goes, but I, my, I work here all the time, but my minivan, I go camping in it. And you're the one that expired, inspired me to oh, do cool. that. And yeah. she got her minivan together. She says, if you can do that, then I can do it too. So shout out to Courtney, who's at the, she's Very good. at the, uh, the Grand Canyon. Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to do the back to basics. You know, sometimes uh, some uh, no man chance can get kind of common doing this and that and the next thing. We're going right back to the basics. Let's get down to the to the nitty gritty. And I want to mention also that a lot of these devices are new. There's always new devices oh, and sure. new ways to do things. Yeah. And some of our best ideas come from you folks. I know it. Oh, yeah. Things oh, that yeah. I've never heard of or Leah's yeah. never heard of or never used anyway. Yeah. And it's so much appreciated. Please yeah. don't uh, hesitate to yes. give us your ideas and what you've had good luck with. Mm -hmm. And we love to hear that. Yeah. I'm sure everybody loves I to know. hear those things. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't even have an arm gator on. Let me see if I can show you. I know that sometimes. Oh, you have tattoos or whatever. No, I don't. <laughs> um, I just, it's really hot out today, but you can see some of the, no, I don't have as many bumps. Yeah, oh, not bad God. at all. I know, but I do have neck gaiters and arm gaiters for sale and winter is coming. It's right around the corner, fall, and you're going to want to um, maybe, what you can do is you, if you have a shirt or a shirt here, if you have a neck gaiter on, it almost makes it more like a, a turtleneck. So get your neck gaiters now. Um, some of them are going pretty fast. So I've had a few orders. Thank you very much. And we've got the arm gaiters too. So that way you can wear short sleeves, but you can still put on in the morning. If it's cold, you can put on an arm right. gaiter. So I've got arm gaiters, neck gaiters. I've got the buck. And I've got the exercise tape. So let's get in shape, everybody. There you go. Yeah. Get so off your butt. Is there any more you want to talk about there, dear? No, I think that about covers okay. the uh, items we were going to discuss today. Yes. And hope you guys enjoyed this. So did I burn my dinner? No. I don't burn my food. What, yeah, what were you thinking? Absolutely not. You thought I burned my no. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, so... I don't know. We'll leave it a surprise on number two of our Back to Basics. There you go. But this is all about cooking and coffee. Yeah. Bye. Love Bye, you. Bye, guys.